Man, this is the only way to shop. Ah! Whoa! Get a load of that! <laughs> Who's the bean pole supposed to be? Your worst nightmare. You scuff laws of three seconds to vacate your vehicle. What you say we mow this turkey down? Go, bro! Pedal to the metal! Hey! How did he do that? Minor to dispatch. We've reached the Mega Mall. It appears the getaway car has gotten away from its drivers. I'll have a chat with it. I'm sure it'll be reasonable. Lane Rockets. Mm, better have this angle right. Rubble Rats. Looks like someone beat us to the punch. Who's responsible for apprehending these fellas? Some skinny dude, funny voice, called himself the Herminator. And the guy's a freakazoid, a walking nut job. Huh, uh, yeah, well, we don't know why he attacked us. That's coming from the parking garage. This guy is a wacko. He nabs two criminals and decides to trash some cars on the way out? Uh, Agent Miner, isn't that your car? <gasps> the word just came down, guys. They want the Herminator off the street. Division Alpha feels that in the wrong hands, this technology could pose a national security hazard. They have a point. At first I thought we were just looking at body armor, but a closer look at the mall security tape seems to indicate a new form of biotechnics. The circuitry is actually part of him, whoever he is. Those cars he demolished at the mall, I ran the place. They all had overdue parking tickets. Yours too? I, I've been busy. Final stretch of the obstacle run, it's Robocop in the lead, with Nancy Miner gaining on him. Fantastic! Not even a 500-pound handicap could stop the Cup of Steel. Let's have a look at the old scoreboard. With just two events to go, our four finalists have got their work cut out. Uh-oh. What's this? Oh, looks like Robocop tried a kneecap on that last jump. The ref's calling for a brief time out. While there's a break in the action, check out our playback screen for highlights of previous events. To even out the marksmanship contest, we made it difficult for Robocop to see his targets. But he didn't let a little thing like that affect his aim. Way to go, Robo! Hey, <laughs> that's my man, yeah! This entertainment? This is a close competition, pal. Off limits to crazies, kooks, and civilians. Who are you calling a civilian? Let the crowd decide. What do you say, people? You want to see what the Herminator can do? One more tryout, and your knee will be as good as. <laughs> hey! I'm not finished! Target shooting, running, and jumping? Monkeys can be trained to do that! You people should expect more from your police officers! You wanna see target practice? 
I'll show you target practice! The demonstration is over, Herminator. You are under arrest. What's the charge, Robo Croc? Making you look bad? Blowing up cars is a felony. They should have paid their parking tickets! You can't be that good. to show more respect for Metro West finest. We'll be right back. Obey the law. Back to the show, citizens. Hold it, Herminator! You've assaulted a police officer. Stop or we shoot! Ah! I'll forgive this time. You don't really know me yet. But next time, you better show the proper respect. Don't say a word. Just get me to a sonic shower. A 250? That means if Murphy's a 10 on the kick butt scale, Terminator's a 25? How is that possible? Nanotechnology. Micro-robots and circuitry so small and sensitive they actually interface with the human body on a cellular level. Look! A nanoscientist named Zachary Wonk had worked like this banned by the scientific community years ago, just before his death. But his experiments were far too risky to try on human subjects. What if Wonk had a volunteer? Someone who was so crazy or angry that risks didn't matter. Don't tell me you actually have a theory. Parking tickets. I can't shake the feeling they're the root of all this, so I stopped by parking violations. Agent Miner, I think you're overreacting to your unpaid ticket. Parking enforcement records for the past five years, smart guy. Cross-check with Neumeier's nano-doctor. Overreacting, huh? Herman Wonk, badge 319, fired six months ago for attitude problems when he gave out tickets. He liked it too much. Zachary's son? You got it. How could a man subject his own kid to the risks of nanotechnology? Let's ask him. Uh, Murphy. Sorry. No mistake. This is the last address registered to Zachary Wonk. You sure we got the right house? Why don't you double park and see if anyone around here gets really mad? Ha <laughs> ha! Give it a rest. Oh, I guess we're back to square one. Voltage scanner! Maybe not. I'm detecting an unusual power source directly beneath us. Nice lab for a condemned building. This must be Herman's shrine to his late father. Or to himself. An unattended vehicle. Three inches in the red zone. That's three inches too many. Much for a parking violation, one should think, huh? 
Oh, well, no telling with Americans. Hey, what happened to our car? Now I told you to check the radiator. Stop right there. You're under arrest for poor parking and attempted running. Must have known the robbery was in progress all along. Jolly good. Not bad, man. But he ain't no Robocop. It'll take a few months before I'm operational, but hey, <laughs> that tickles. I could tell you what's supposed to happen once the nanogenetic material fuses with the cells in my body, but then I'd have to kill you. Just kidding! <laughs> He's not all there, Murphy. Goodbye, parking enforcement. Hello, destiny. Herman Walsh, new Detroit City Cop. If he likes cops so much, why is he such a pain? 917 in progress at 5th and Georgia. It's a big one, folks. All emergency vehicles proceed at once. Looks like Mr. Super Cop will have to wait. What's happening? <coughs> Robocop. Thank goodness you're here. No matter what we throw at this thing, the flames just won't quit. <laughs> Blast of chemicals. Sound receiver. I'm <laughs> going in. Show, citizens. Help me get him out of there! Over here! <laughs> the fumes! Excuse me, folks! Mind if I give it a try? Problems, Robocop? When lives are at stake, you really should call me for help. I'm the ultimate policeman, the future of law enforcement. But you, you're yesterday's news. Outdated, outmoded, and outclassed. So, do us all a favor and shut yourself down. Look out, world! The Herminator's in town! <laughs> the Malt Punks confessed. Uh, well, we got the car from the skinny dude. Weird voice. He wouldn't show his face, you know? Guess who? And this great cop Herminator was seen at the chemical factory just before the fire. He's been going around staging his own crime just so he can show off for the public. We've got him, Murphy. We still must apprehend him. I haven't been much good at that. 
don't worry. I don't think he's gonna be at this much longer. Herman's nano components have begun evolving. They could take on a life of their own, and who knows what they'll do. And this is why his father's work was banned. Murphy? We just got a call from an anonymous terrorist. There's a runaway automated train heading toward the downtown station. The Zoom train's computer is offline, and the voice claims there's a plasma bomb on board set to go off when it hits the station. Any attempt to remove the bomb in route will cause detonation, destroying one of the population centers along the way. Guess he was just seen chasing down the train. Mr. Future of Law Enforcement, Lane Hero again? Help the police the best you can. I want to try something. Alone. Jack! My nano circuits aren't supposed to break off and fight me. What's wrong? Something even your father didn't foresee, Herman. What are you doing here? Your nanotechnology has been evolving on its own. It has achieved a basic intelligence. It sees the bomb you made as more of its own circuitry. It can't let you shut it down. It's a trick. You just want me out of the way so you can save the train station and hog all the glory. I won't let you! <laughs> Heads up, Robocop! You're about to be a real smash! What do you have to do to get someone to let you help him? Where was I? Oh, yeah. I was about to save the city. But what if I, I can't? I won't be top cop. I'll be a murderer. Oh, no. Thanks to me, thousands of people are doomed. Maybe not, Herman. I can't save the city alone, and neither can you. But if you help me, we've got a chance. What do you say, Officer Wonk? Well, Officer Wonk? No, I, I don't know. I think you do. Um, I'm listening. There's got to be a way to stop the detonation. And then again, be there for me, Herman. Another victory for the Terminator. Cops getting letters from prison. Who'd believe it? Newmeyer says prison doctors have detected no new nano circuits after the operation. Ready? A uh, little something came for you while you were gone. What's this? Mmm, looks kind of like a parking ticket. What? 
Don't blame me if you don't check where you park. Murphy! Wait a minute. This ticket is signed by Officer Got You Minor. Well, funny, partner. Real funny. We'll be right back after these messages. And now, back to the show, citizens. Get set for the Pokemon Invasion. Next, go around the world, into the sky, and across the sea, because you got to catch them all. It's your favorite creatures like you've never seen them before. Sit back. Pokemon takes America by storm next on the WB-11.